previously on Apprentice A. Grotto's cleaning out his closet. Pants also have a giant hole in the crotch. I don't bite. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good morning, I have woken up early to do some uh, bedroom shopping. Uh, I need a new bed. And so, um, you know, in the past year or two, I've had some meetings at Sleep Country Canada. And so I'm at a Sleep Country Canada with my, my friend Karen. Um, and we're gonna do some, uh, some bed shopping, if, if that's okay. Um, if that's all the same to you. Because I have had the same mattress that I got from my parents, like, much over than a decade ago. It's definitely time. It's, when's when's the time? When do you gotta get a new mattress? You should be getting a new mattress every six to eight to ten years. Every six to eight to ten years. Is the rule of thumb. So it's been much longer. It's been much longer. Things have changed for you. Things have since you had your last bed. Things have changed for me since I've had I've never like gone out and like got my own bed before. Okay. So you said it's been over 10 years? Yeah, way over 10 years. Okay, so your body has changed dramatically in the last 10 years for sure. I suppose it's true. So you're definitely due for a new bed. What okay. size are you on? Right now? Yes. I'm on a queen. And are you sticking with a queen or are you going to the king? I'm going to king. Nice. There's a reason I want to get a king. Okay. Um, and I thought about this. And then when I thought to myself, oh, I if I go in there and I'm like, I want a king, I, f I my guess was that a lot of people are probably like, oh, I want a king, and then they make the mistake of getting a bed too big. Yes. I don't know if that's true. And so then I got a measuring tape out, and I measured my bed and my body, and my dogs, okay. and my room. How many dogs do you have? I have two dogs, and they sleep in my bed. Okay. So king bed. King bed. Okay, because so they're all they're all over me. So I intentionally wore sweatpants okay. and a light t-shirt, so I can easily bend and lay on all of the things. So how does one start um, testing? Okay. How do you know? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by figuring out a couple of things. Do you sleep on your back, belly, or side? Um, I used to sleep on my belly, okay. and apparently that was really bad for me. It is. So I've been trying to, swi been trying to switch to my back, and I've ended up half on my side, half on my back. Okay, so sort of... How do you wake up in the morning on your back? Miserable. Yeah. Miserable. Okay, so <laughs> we need a new bed. I wake up, I wake up, I think, on my side with like, I sleep with like a pillow between my legs. Okay. I find helps. Okay. <gasps> oh, this bed is cool. It's exactly like where you want to be. Where's, where's where I want to be? On the bed in the center. On a bed in a center. Oh, I tend to sleep on a side, I tend to kind of sleep on like okay, so the right side of my side. bed. Is that bad? Nope, that's perfect. That's I want to show the cool thing. Check this out. Watch so this. What we're going to do, we're going to raise it up. We're going to raise what? We're going to raise okay. something. Up. Oh, we're moving. We're going to raise your head all the way up. I feel like I saw this in commercials in the 90s, but I feel like it was cheesy. Okay, so are yeah, things that better? Was a little different. This is that was different. different. This is a lifestyle. Thing. Reminds me of Star Wars when Darth Vader is rising at the end of episode three. That's what's happening right now. We're going. How high does this thing go? It's going to come right up as if you're sitting in a chair. She. I don't know if you can hear. She says it's going right up, as if I'm gonna, as if I'm sitting in it. Holy cow! So I could like sit with my laptop here, or watch a, a TV. Look at that. That it. That is is this is the height of luxury, right here. I don't know if I can afford this. We're floating. Just my legs are going up. You want all the way up? What's all the way up? All the way up. I'll show you how far up you can raise the legs. It's so it's so high. So it's gonna keep going. I'm trying not to just have this be a shot of my crotch. So there's <laughs> there's there's the knees and 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 the feetsies. This is this is good. I, I I don't know if you can tell my bum's down here. Um, and you were saying that because of like the the problems I have with my feet and needing orthotics, this helps the blood drain out of my legs. Yes, it will help reduce the swelling in your ankles and help improve the circulation to your feet. Thank goodness. I'm trying all different kinds of pillows and apparently it's not just like, you know, I, I have the pillows that I prefer, but if I go to my, my parents' house, I bring it there and what I have learned is that different mattresses will like require different pillows because if it's a softer or firmer or whatever mattress, the pillow will react differently and support you differently. And it's kind of like orthotics for your entire body. 
which I've never really thought about before. I just wanted to be comfortable. But now she's like straightening out my back, which is pretty cool. And we're trying all these different things, but there's reasons for them. Whereas before it was just like, ah, I like this one. Um, there's actually more to it than that. It's a posture pe tempur pedic thing you, you sink into, and it takes like five to seven minutes to totally sink in. So I'm laying here, she's like, if you want to take a nap, cool. Um, and so then I asked for the remote, because I'm going to put the head up and down. I'm looking at this remote, and it says massage. <laughs> and I press, <gasps> <gasps> can you hear that? I'm getting a massage in my bed. Oh my goodness, just all of them max. Oh. This is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me in my entire life. Oh, my legs feel so good! I already have trouble getting out of bed. I would just never leave bed. I would just be here all the time. Never in my life have I felt like I could sleep straight. I'm not even on a pillow. What the heck? That's amazing. Never in my life have I felt like I could lay uh, flat-backed and straight-necked in a bed and go to sleep. This is the first time ever I've ever felt that. So we're, we were looking at another mattress and there was one, uh, that it's exactly the same firmness as the other one I was trying, but this one says breeze, cloud supreme breeze. I asked her if that was for sweat. Yes. yes. And I just crumbled. Cause I'm, I, so I'm a, I'm a sweaty, I'm a, I'm a sweaty guy. I'm not, not sweaty. So because of my ADHD, I take a pill for it called Vyvanse. Vyvanse is an accelerant that speeds up my heart rate. It helps me focus. But one of the side effects is being extra sweaty. And I've like woken up in the middle of the night regularly, like almost every night, just, just wet. Wow. <laughs> Not that you needed to know that, but now you know that. So this is the same, so that one's, so, that one's like a two dot, and this one's a two dot, and I loved this. Temp, temper adapt, is that how hot or cold it is? Um, Less than more? adapt is the adaptability of the temper material itself. Okay. So that is how quickly it adapts to your body. Cool. But this. And this is cool. So, and lay down on here. Like cold cool? Yes. Cool, cool, and awesome, cool. Well, I'm done. That was uh, that was really awesome. Karen was really cool. I went to Sleep Country Canada, whom we have not been working with and trying to work with for years. So uh, we're, we're rocking them in the vlog. Um, they're really cool, and they treat us super, super, super well. So this probably seems very sponsored, uh, and we've said this about Sleep Country before, is that we've been wanting to work together for years to do like a big production. Um, like either on their channel or our channel or both um, and we're still figuring it out we're still talking about it but uh, last year they sent me pillows and now I'm gonna try to get a bed um, we'll see what I can fit and figure out and you're gonna see uh, you're actually gonna see why I need a bed very soon um, but that was really cool I actually learned a lot and I, I feel like you're gonna think this is bullcrap it's not there's a lot of science behind it and I really like that. It, that appeals to my, just the way I learn and the way I do things. And she's talking to me about spine alignment. And you know when you talk to a sales person, you're like, this is so salesy. And they're, they're just making stuff up. Like, it's, I, I was like, really blown away and she's like you know most client or most people maybe they don't believe or maybe they don't listen or maybe they don't i was like no no give me all of the and she did she like gave, i like learned a bunch um do they call them is it sleep experts do they call them the sleep experts is that a thing super cool and karen was super cool and we talked about adhd because um, <laughs> that's what i do and that was really fun so uh, thank you to sleep country for letting me like vlog and lay on a bunch of your mattresses it's uh i i, I highly recommend it like I, I really really do and it's way less expensive than I thought. I thought Sleep Country was for like my parents and I'm gonna go to Ikea. Um, but I would ne not never do that now. Um, and I wouldn't be able to say that if this was super sponsored. So that's how you know. Um, so cool, very cool. Guys, we've become obsessed with this stupid game on our phones. The cat's game. <laughs> it's the cat's game, Nico Atsumi, or however you say it. Uh, if you don't know about it, you collect cats. Oh, yeah, oh, they know about it. it. <laughs> it's so much fun! 
I have more it's cats so than Sasuke stupid. has. stupid. No. Yes, we just looked. We did a side-by-side -side oh, comparison. Oh, and you have the stupid Bob the cat, but you also don't have certain other cats that I have. I'm mm, pretty sure I am the, the lead winner in the cat race. In the yeah. rat. I, I'm winning in the yeah. rat race. Well, at least I have a bigger yard and a house and stuff. Yeah, well. So, yeah, no. Welcome to this. Spring cleaning with Spring cleaning Sasuke with and Sasuke and Corrado. In the middle of the winter. Uh, <laughs> this was full of boxes and things. We've decided to go through them. And throw out a bunch of stuff. Almost everything. And keep some other things. Mostly books. books. Mostly books that we're keeping. This keep is... I'm keeping all my CDs. These are piles of Dutch books. Except for, you know, the Kite Runner right there. So we've got some... Got some fun stories here. Babysitter's Club in Dutch. It's good times. Um, but, you know, we got... We're, we're doing we're doing the cleaning thing. Oh, you know, I'm still cleaning, hanging out. There's lots of stuff. Is it chewy? Just chilling. He was whining at the door earlier for like half an hour because we had the door closed and he couldn't see us. But he's not allowed in the room. Oh, you cutie pie! He knows that. Oh so my gosh. Time uh, and time again. What a goof. Just wants to make sure you're okay. We're okay, baby. Check out this. My first laptop. Screen's broken, but look it's at that. beautiful. Isn't it nice? Kept it in good condition other than the broken screen. Watch Shit. yourself. I know, but it's kind of That's like, like bro- like something landed on that. Oh yeah, I let someone borrow this to write an essay. And she nicked it with her keys right there and shattered it. Nice. It's the death of the laptop. Now, for a lot of you guys, <laughs> this is a cassette tape. <laughs> There's music It plays on here. music. Sometimes you need to stick a pen through it to twirl it back up. But this is not just any music. Mm. This holds New Kids on the Block. Oh my gosh. Right? That is just... Um, this one is the Cars, Wham, U2's album, because U2's really old. So I'm gonna put in this this new kids on the block. I don't even know how to use this thing enough to. Satisfying click. It is a satisfying click. Oh, well, listen to that great quality. <laughs> That's glorious. I don't think none of these things actually control it. Look how old it is, it can barely play. You you can hear it more spinning than you can have. There it goes. That's what I'm talking about. Good. Are you tough enough? Good. Side Flip it. Side B. Mm -hmm. That's my sister. It's talking the talking turtle Leonardo with the zip cord. Teapot set. Um, Remember, it was, it was strawberry shortcake. You used to put hot water on it and it would change. <laughs> She's clearly reading off Christmas. Yep. That's amazing. That's, that's so funny. How old? That's got to, that's 96, maybe. I don't know when New Kids on the Block came out, but I decided to record over it with. My sister is reading off Christmas list. We got puzzles. Oh, that's Vigenzo. That's not Christina. You said I got one, Carada got one, Christina got one. <laughs> that's amazing. That's so Love old. it! Well, I say we did pretty well. We made quite the mess. So we got this garbage. Garbage, Recycle. garbage. Garbage. Recycle. Garbage. garbage. 
Underneath. Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> garbage. Garbage. Give away clothes. Does give away. Give away clothes. Give yeah, away we are. Clothes. We did this yesterday. Give away clothes. Give away clothes. This is yesterday. And then there's another garbage bag back there. Oh, I didn't see that one. So, I say we did pretty good. <laughs> we did pretty good. Proud. Yeah. High five. Home is where the fog is.